हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आयल्स वाला वट इज़ अप गाइज एंड वेलकम टू आयल्स वाला यूट्यूब चैनल एंड वेल गाइज टूडे आई एम बैक विद एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियो रिगार्डिंग कैनेडियन इमिग्रेशन थ्री न्यू अपडेट्स और थ्री न्यू रूल्स यू कैन से सो आई विल डिस्कस स्टेप बाई स्टेप वट आर द न्यू थ्री रूल्स फ्राम कैनेडियन इमिग्रेशन वट आर द थ्री न्यू अपडेट्स एंड दैट इज एम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एवरी वन हु वॉन्ट्स टू और हु आई कैन से वॉन्ट्स टू इमिग्रेट टू कैनेडा और हु गॉट देर वीज़ा और हु वीज़ा एप्लीकेशन इज अंडर प्रोसेस and have to move to canada in some days or who are staying in canada for canadian people as well it is very important so i i in this video i'm featuring two videos so you can watch everyone so before proceeding consider subscribing this channel ielts wala i teach ielts online through my live sessions classes webinars and my youtube videos and i also share latest updates regarding immigration and ielts so for that subscribe now it is free to subscribe and take only 1 second to subscribe and press the bell icon so that whenever i will share a new video or new update you will get a notification on your screens on the same time so what are you waiting for subscribe and press the bell icon and let's get started well guys before that i want to tell you i have already uploaded a new video about canada immigration new rules may 2020 so uh, i can see changes in the immigration by canada so you can check this video the link is in description i have uploaded last week this video and the rules will be effective from 1st may and already they are in effect now so you can check this video the link is in description after after watching this video you can check or you can also check this video by clicking on the top right yes here you got a suggestion for this video breaking news new rules in canada and so and so so just click on this i button after watching this video you will see there is a suggestion for this video and you can play so let's get started well guys the new update is regarding the canadian immigration as you guys know that due to this lockdowns in everywhere in canada as well they have stopped the flights and they have told that To the per I can say against candidates or people who got their visas before 18th of March, they are allowed to Canada with some restrictions. So there is a clear cut. There is a new update on all these kind of things. To talk about first thing, they have given an update that those who are essential workers are allowed to come to Canada. And as you guys know, there is also news that the people who will come to Canada will have to be in self isolation in quarantine for 14 days. But essential workers or people essential people who are in essential category like uh, people who work in health sector or people who work in agriculture sector because these are these sectors are on high demand in canada so uh, for the 14 days of quarantine have been like as removed or they have not planned 14 days of quarantine for essential sector workers they can travel to canada and uh, when they will travel they, they there will be only i can say proper check up of them there will be proper check up that do they have symptoms or any health check up but there is no any kind of i can say restriction that they have to be in 14 days of quarantine because they need health sector workers they need agriculture sector workers so for that purpose they will only check the proper i can say medical check up of any or i can say viruses and symptoms so they will check all that but there is uh, no any quarantine quarantine of 14 days but if there is any kind of symptom and any kind of i can say uh, abnormal body so then they i can say might be have to be in the quarantine or might be obviously the, i don't know they have not given any confirmation about these things but that's my guess that then you might have to be in quarantine but if if you are all right all perfect normal then you do not have to be in quarantine you can just work over there because they need health sector agriculture sector and other sector worker you can check all these updates and the categories who are in essential category on ircc website canadian immigration refugees canada some something like so the link is in description you can check you can also follow canadian immigration canada on twitter because on twitter they upload the updates as the i guess as as soon as they release the update on twitter it is published on website they have all they also published that things so just go to description and check their website as well and follow them on twitter next update that is regarding the non essential workers that who are non essential workers uh, in other sectors like i think um, supply chain and all that i'm not sure for them you can check them on the website until now only essential sector workers are allowed in essential i think the supply chains and food workers are i can say who try i can say like people who are who are on trucking who i can say do the delivery of food and other stuffs so they are also i think as essential worker so till now essential workers are allowed as you guys already know so there is no update for non essential workers till now you can check website the next update is regarding the study visas which are or any work permit or pr that who got their visas before 18th march 
to talk about them that is the already given update from them that uh, they can come to canada for, at suppose if you are from india or any other country then at airport there will be medical checkup as well and uh, again when you will reach the carriage canada again there will be your medical checkup and to students to work visas who are under other categories especially to students as well you have to be in 14 days of quarantine but the update is you need to answer some questions at airport because they will ask you that where are you staying with your friend family relative or you have to found or find your own i can say rental place so these kind of questions they will ask and they will also ask that from where you will buy your products like um, because if you will have your own rental home or even if you need products like any groceries or any normal i, I guess the products which you need over there like your products if you want to buy laptops and all that kind of stuff so from where you will purchase that from where you will prep, i can say buy you all the groceries because that is important thing about groceries so from where you will buy all these groceries these kind of questions you must prepare because they can definitely ask you these kind of question that is update i got from my sources as well so at uh, but for students you have to be in 14 days of quarantine 14 days of self isolation that is already given on the website but only to known is only to essential workers this i can say relief has been given that they do not need to be in 14 days of quarantine they can just have they will just have a medical proper check up and then they, they can work without any isolation so that was all about this updates so now you can check out this video for canadian immigration new rules may 2020 the link is in description or click on your screen now and on top red corner there is i button just click over there and watch this video till then take care bye bye we'll meet you soon in my next video don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon bye bye